In the last video, we looked at adding labels to your interface. Now we're gonna take it one step further and add buttons and text fields. This is the fundamental part of most things you do in apps, so getting it right at the start is super important. Let's get stuck in. Here we are back in Xcode. We're still in main storyboard and we're gonna bring up the library just like before, view, show library. Again, you can use Shift, Control, L, bring it up, but here's a quick way. We've got button, which is right there. And again, we could just search for button in our field, but hey, let's just take it. Take this and drag it into your space. And just like with a label, you can move it around. It's got the same snap to grid, and you've also got the same or very similar kinds of um, changes here. So we can change the typeface, we can change the font size, all these kind of things. So what is a button compared to something else? Well, if I just make it a bit larger so we can really see what's going on, then we can simulate this. So I'm just gonna press play, replace what's um, been simulated in my last version. Here we are with a successful build. And let's just jump over to our simulator. And there we are, button. And if I click on it, you can see that my button is actually flashing. Nothing's happening because we've not done any coding, but the button is there. Let's jump, jump back into our design for Xcode and get this working. So that is a, a button. Next thing to look at is a text field. Adding that in is very similar to adding a button or a label. So we show our library and we choose text field and bring this in. This is the kind of thing where you would add a text field so you enter your email or enter any text into the app. This is a primary text interface. Once again, you can move it around, snap to grid, just like anything else. I like to go full width, so drag, drag it all the way to the left and drag it all the way to the right. There we are. For the sake of things, I have to put my button in the... So what can we do with the text field? A few things. Start by clicking on here and our right hand column starts displaying things we need to know for text fields. First thing, you've got placeholder text. Placeholder text is text that's gonna be there to remind your user to do something. So if we want them to enter email, we can just type email. And you'll see it is in faint gray email there. If we now, um, what else can we do in this? We can go down to the text input traits and there's various pieces such as keyboard type. If you use a iPhone, you'll know that there are different keyboards for different processes. So the email keyboard is gonna have the at key, whereas your Twitter keyboard is gonna have different items. So we we'll just click email. And now let's simulate that again so you can see how this looks when you bring it up. Give it a second to load. There we are. You see that when I click my button, it flashes. When I click on the email, the email keyboard pops up and I can just start popping in my text just like before. So that is the email. So I've got a little challenge for you to help you learn. What I want you to do is I want you to create a basic text input form. This needs to contain your email, your password text input, and a button saying login. Now, I've not told you how to do passwords yet, so why don't you go ahead and Google how to do a password input with Xcode 12. That will give you a little hint. If you can't find it, don't worry, I'll show you the answer in a minute. So pause the video and we'll get back to you in a second. Hopefully you have gone ahead and done a great bit of searching and you found everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and build everything from scratch just to show you how to do it again. Starting with my text input. So take my field, I'm gonna drag one in there. Placeholder text, I'm gonna call it email. Then I'm gonna drag this out right to the edges. One and two. Gonna get a second one, so view, show library. Take another text input and drop this at about the right place, not worrying too much about spacing between at this point. And placeholder text is password. Now, 
how do I make this into a password item? Well, the keyboard type, it doesn't really matter as much. Default is fine. Spell checker, definitely don't want that because you know who needs spell checking for a password. But what you need is the secure text entry. And I will show you what that looks like in a minute. But the last part is the button for login. Very simple. View, show library. Button, drag it in. I'm going to go for the bottom right because that feels quite natural for a login. And the text is log in. I'm going to make this slightly bigger. So let's say size 20. The Apple Human Interface Guidelines will tell you how to do all of this stuff and give you the sizes of text to work on. For now, it doesn't matter. We're just learning about the basic interface. So that is what you should have built. So let's have a look at how this looks in our simulator, which is just powering up. Yep, we're done. Over we go. It's taking a second to load. Now you see that this is an iPhone 12 and everything is slightly off. Now that's because I'm simulating iPhone 12, but I designed for iPhone 11. That tells me that I need to have more responsive design. We're going to cover that later in the course. But for now, you can see login, you can see the pieces. So it's fine for what we're doing. Click on email. You'll see that our email piece pops up. I've actually forgot to add the email keyboard last time. So slight mistake. But the password one, well, I did click the button. And you'll see that as I'm typing, those little secure buttons that hide the password are there. So I can click login and whatever. So let's go and correct this. So I go into my email and keyboard type, I choose email address. So that is adding buttons and text fields. These really are the bread and butter of what you're doing in um, iPhone design for the interface. We can go further with this. We can choose our buttons and say, hey, let's add a background image, which we're going to do later on. We can add um, all those different border styles, which we can just click through here and play around. Invisible buttons, default pills. We have clear buttons that never appear. We have all lots of different options, but we're going to cover that in a later video. So I hope you have been successful and learned a great amount about adding text fields and buttons to your iOS interface with Xcode.